Hi, so today I wanted to talk about my favorite podcast in neuroscience. And even though I study neuroscience myself, I find it really hard to keep up with the literature sometimes because there's just so much new knowledge coming out every day. So that's why I think podcasts are a great way to just keep engaged with the field and also to learn about new topics and interesting little nuggets that you don't really get from dry papers. So yeah, I want to give you a list of podcasts that I personally really enjoyed in neuroscience and hopefully you'll find one that you like as well. So let's get right into it. So the first podcast I really like is the Huberman Lab podcast and Dr. Huberman is a neuroscientist from Stanford that's now also a tenured professor. So then you already know you're kind of good. And the topics he talks about are more related to neurobiology. So he talks a lot about hormones and different neuroendocrine systems that I don't personally know that much about. And that's why I really like and enjoy his podcast and i do have to say the um, focus of his topics are a little bit more self-help so for example how to optimize your sleep or how to get better focus or how to get a healthier brain so to speak but the way he tackles the topics are in a really principled manner so i do think he explains the neuroscience really well even though he picks topics that are more considered a little bit popular in media so two episodes that i really enjoyed was um adhd and how anyone can improve their focus and I really enjoyed this topic because especially in the current attention economy people are really losing their ability to focus myself included and we're just scrolling on Twitter and YouTube all day which you're doing right now I guess but anyways so yeah I think this was a really good topic for me to kind of relearn some of the systems that are involved in our brains when we're trying to focus and then the next podcast I really like is kind of related to this one I found it through the Huberman Lab podcast. So it's the podcast called Lifespan by David Sinclair. And I love this podcast because David Sinclair is a geneticist, so he's not really a neuroscientist, but he talks about how we should view aging as a disease and not a necessary premise of life. And when you first hear this idea, you're kind of like, is he trying to play God or whatever? But he goes into this topic so carefully and he really explains all the genetic pathways and epigenetic pathways that are involved in aging and especially in our field a lot of older people suffer from Alzheimer's or dementia and I think this, these are such troubling disorders and he says the that all these disorders can be caught under one big disorder which is aging and if you solve aging you would solve these sub disorders or these sub diseases and I think it's a really interesting and really brave idea. I'm not sure if I fully agree with it, but I would recommend you to listen to his podcast. It's really interesting. Okay, then the next podcast I want to talk about is a little bit more serious in a sense. It's called Brain Science by Ginger Campbell. And Ginger Campbell interviews really prominent researchers in neuroscience. And I do think his podcast is maybe a little bit difficult if you never had any experience with neuroscience, I'm not too sure. But I love the guests he interviews because they're really interesting speakers or neuroscientists that have written books, for example, that you usually don't get a chance to meet that often or to ask questions. And throughout an episode, he just asks questions and they really dive into some topics that are quite controversial or quite interesting. One episode I really loved was with Antonio Damasio, and that's the author of Feeling and Knowing. So they explore the origin of consciousness and its evolution. And I personally love the um, subject consciousness. I think it's a really controversial subject in neuroscience nowadays. So yeah, it's, it's really fun to listen to that. Then the next podcast I really love is a lot more fun. It's the Mind Brain Body Project by Paul Taylor. And Paul Taylor is just a funny host. I think they make a lot of jokes and it's a little bit more a self-help podcast, I would say. So Paul Taylor does have a lot of knowledge, but the way they speak and the way they joke around, it's just a really easy listen. So I loved his Wisdom Wednesdays on sleep and aging and also the neuroscience of enduring change with Richard Lane. So yeah, he really tackles some topics that I find interesting more to apply in daily life and less in a higher cognitive level or something like that. 
So the next podcast is one of my favorite podcasts. It's called Nows by Ian Goodman or Noos, I'm not, I'm not too sure. And I really love his podcast. I find Ian Goodman is such a good host. So he invites different neuroscientists as well. But the way he talks with them and the way he speaks is just really engaging and it makes it a really easy listen, even though the topics he discusses are usually quite difficult. I think he has a really good pace and a really easy voice. So I loved his podcast with L Edward Bulmore on the inflamed mind theory of depression. So this theory says that the, one of the causes of depression could be an inflamed mind and with that an inflamed body and that usually comes from sickness or illness and I thought that this was a really interesting theory. I personally don't think all depression comes from this, but they also don't say that in the podcast. It would be interesting to research this further. I, I love this one. And also I love the one with Gina Rippon on the myth of the gendered brain. And I decided to read her book afterwards. And Gina Rippon is just such a good researcher. She's a really engaging speaker as well. So I highly recommend listening to that episode if you're interested in that talk. The only sad thing about this podcast is that he hasn't been making any episodes recently. I'm not really sure why I haven't duck into it but if you know um, let me know down in the comments. Then I kind of want to go into some subjects that are related to neuroscience but not neuroscience themselves and podcasts related to that. So one of the podcasts I really love is Philosophize This by Stephen West and philosophy for me is really a key component in knowing neuroscience and being able to talk about neuroscience because a lot of our origins in thinking come from philosophy so also in a lot of theories of neuroscience but also of psychology you see these old philosophy premises still existing in the theories so for example you have from Rene Descartes the dualism and this is still a really relevant subject in debates on consciousness so I think it's good to get some knowledge on philosophy if you're doing any type of science and Stephen West makes it really easy to understand and to listen to and also when you listen to him you just feel really smart so that's also really important of course Course. So I personally loved his episode from Sartre and Camus on consciousness is freedom. Sartre is one of the philosophers that I personally find really interesting. And also of course his episode 95, are you living in a simulation? So this is the idea of the Boltzmann brain actually, which is thought of by cosmologists. And I think it's personally a really interesting idea. And it could actually be true if you just look at the math and do a thought experiment you could possibly be living in a simulation. So yeah, that's also an interesting listen. And then the last podcast that I found recently that I really enjoy is on physics and it's from Shane Carroll's. It's called Mindscape. And Shane Carroll is a theoretical physicist and philosopher who specializes in quantum theory and also in gravity and cosmology. So you already know the topics are gonna be a little interesting and quite difficult, I think. And one episode that I loved that was more neuroscience related was with Anil Seth on the emergence, information and consciousness. And Anil Seth for me is a really interesting researcher. I'm reading his book right now on consciousness. But in general, Shane Carroll's talk and podcast is just so fun. He talks about dark energy and quantum fields and just all these topics that you're like, woo, I feel really smart listening to this. So yeah, I would highly recommend listening to that podcast as well. So these were my podcasts that I really enjoy in neuroscience. I'm curious if you have some podcasts that I didn't name, put them down in the comments below because I always love discovering new podcasts and otherwise see you next week. Bye.